first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this video on lesson number five on the topic profit and loss so now we are going to solve a question that is based on the concept called always loss right so do not forget to watch the video from lesson number one that is starting introduction so if you are a beginner or first time watching my video kindly don't directly come and watch this lesson number five always le start learning from lesson number one so only then while coming lesson number five you can able to understand what i am saying right so uh, do not forget to watch the previous lesson right to understand the concept why because in previous lesson lesson number four i have told you there are three category of question which look similar so one is Ramesh bought two horses, here Ramesh sold two horses and in the next lesson the word each will not be there in the question. Right? So previous lesson that is in lesson number 4, I have told you one important thing if both the numbers are same, right? if both the numbers are same, he bought the horses then definitely the answer will be no profit, no loss. If the cost price has been given and the profit percentage, loss percentage both are same, then the answer is no profit, no loss. So this is the concept what I teach in the previous lesson, right? what, what, what I thought in the previous lesson. But remember one thing, if the numbers are different, right? if the numbers are different, you have to calculate and you have to find the answer. That is also I have thought in the previous lesson. right? So now in this lesson number 5, what we are going to learn is, in case if the selling price has been given and both the percentage value is same then how to find the answer right there is a small formula just see here Ramesh sold to horses so which means the selling price has been given but actual cost price of the horse is not given so by giving the selling price and the one horse is sold at a 20 percentage profit another horse is sold at a 20 percentage loss if you find like this if both the numbers are same if the selling price has been given then the formula will be always the resultant answer will be loss x square by 100 this is the formula right so x square by 100 is the formula always the answer will be loss if both the percentage values are same and the selling price has been given always the answer we will not get a positive we will get always a negative answer which will be loss so what is the value of x will be the percentage so 20 square divided by 100 so 400 by 100 will be 4 so the answer will be loss of 4 percentage so if the selling price of the horse is 1200 each so which means 24,000 rupees is the selling price of the two horses. If both the percentages are same, you don't want to calculate and find the answer. You can directly say the answer will be loss 4 percentage by using this formula. Right? Understood or not? Right? So previous lesson, the answer is no profit, no loss. But here the answer will be definitely loss, which is in, in case if we need to find that number x square by 100, which is 4 percentage. Right? So you have to apply this formula, remember one thing, you have to apply this formula only if both the numbers are same. If both the numbers are same, if the question exactly look like this, so definitely use the formula, then find the answer. Right? So some students will ask me, we are now we have found loss is 4 percentage, how will you find the cost price of the two horses? Just see here, if he got a loss of 4 percentage, right? he got loss of 4 percent we don't know how much rupees is 4 percentage loss but listen one thing he sold two horses how much 24,000 right 24,000 will be the selling price so after selling this for the two horses for 24,000 he got 4 percentage loss so which means this 24,000 will be 96 percentage so friends understood this part alone right? if you can able to understand this part then the complete lesson number five will be easy Right? So he got after selling two horses for 24,000, he got a loss of 4 percentage. Then the amount that he got only will be 96 percentage and 100 percentage will be the base number. Right? So 96 percentage will be the amount that he got. So 24,000 will be 96 percentage. He got a loss of 4 percentage which is x. So now cross multiply it. So 96 into x is equals to 24,000 into 4. So x is equal to we can cancel it. So 1 fours are 4. So 24, 24, 24, so x will be 1000, right? So which means 1000 rupees is the loss, 
right so 4 percentage so this 4 percentage will be 1000 rupees so now we can easily decide that 24000 will be the selling price of the two horses so he got a loss of 1000 rupees then definitely the cost price of the two horses will be 25000 so cost price will be 25000 selling price will be 24000 so 1000 rupees will be the loss this 1000 rupees will be 4 percentage Everyone's understood clear right so this is the concept of lesson number five if you can able to understand this complete solvation method of lesson number five concept will be very very easy if you can't able to understand this kindly uh, rewind back and just watch the video again right starting from here you can able try to understand this hundred percentage right you have to understand the concept hundred percentage not 99 point something just remember one thing you where you have to use the formula right only if both the percentage values are same and the selling price is same you have to use this formula x square by 100 so after five definitely the answer will be loss so loss four percentage so after finding a loss of four percentage so in case if we need to find what is the cost price of the horses then it is easy because the selling price which is 24,000 with a loss of 4 percentage right so 96 percentage only you got after selling two horses for 25,000 you got only 96 percentage why because 4 percentage is the loss so 96 percentage will be 24,000 that 4 percentage loss we don't know how much rupees so cross multiplied and we found he got 1000 rupees loss so 1000 rupees lost then the cost price of the two horses will be 25000 so 25000 is the cost price selling price is 24000 only then he will got 1000 rupees loss and this 1000 rupees loss will be 4 percentage so friends understood right so just listen here in case if both the numbers are different for example one number is 20 percentage another value is 8 percentage in that case you have to solve and you have to find the answer no other way you cannot use this formula why because only same number we can use a formula if the numbers are different we can use the same percentage method i will teach you what i thought in the previous lesson also in the previous lesson if both the numbers are same and the question is a bot then definitely the answer what i have told you is no profit no loss and similarly in the previous lesson i have told you one important thing if both the numbers are different you have to calculate and find the answer so similarly in this lesson number five if both the numbers are same and it is sold selling price has been given then definitely use a formula x square by 100 the answer will always be loss in case if both the numbers are different you have to solve and you have to find the answer right so now uh, let me move on to uh, one question that is based on a different numbers so friends here is the another question right second question that we are going to solve here and uh, with a different number right one with 20 just here Ramesh sold the two books 12,000 rupees each and he sells one at 20 percentage profit and another at four percentage loss if both the numbers are same just now I have told you what what is the formula that you need to uh, apply for it and what is the normal procedure right I have told you everything but if the numbers are different you you should not use the formula right you have to solve the question by a different way that is also easy why because the selling price of two books is 12,000 right so first selling price is how much 12,000 similarly the second selling price is 12,000 now when he sells the book for 12,000, he got a profit of how much? 20 percentage. So 120 percentage will be this book price. Yes or no, right? He is selling book at 12,000 rupees and he got 20 percentage profit. So 100 percentage will be the cost price of the book. So 100 percentage is equals to X. So friends, can you able to understand this area, right? So cost price, we don't know what is the cost price. But from the cost price, if he sells the book for 12,000, he got 20 percentage profit. So 120 percentage will be this rupees. So similarly, the second selling price of the book is 12,000. When he sells the books for 12,000, he is getting a loss of 4 percentage. So only 96 percentage will be the amount that he got after selling the second book so 100 percentage is equals to x so friends understood right so uh, why i wrote 96 percentage here and why i wrote 20 percentage 120 percentage here so if you understand these two numbers then uh, solving the con i hope you understood the concept of lesson number five right so one one selling for 12,000, one area, one uh, book selling price of 12,000, then he got 20 percentage profit. So that amount will be 120 percentage. So the second selling price of the book, 
12,000 same, but he got a loss of 4 percentage. So if he sells the second book for 12,000, then he is getting only 96 percentage. Why? Because 4 percentage is the loss. So 96 percentage will be 12,000, 120 percentage will be 12,000, right? So now our target is to find what is the cost price of both the books. So just cross multiply it. So x is equal to 12,000 into 100 divided by 120. So x is equal to 10,000. So 10,000 which means the cost price of the first book. So similarly x is equal to 12,000. So into 100 divided by 96. So one time. Two times five times right. So this will be. 12500 zero zero, which will be 12500 will be the cost price of the second book so when you add both the value resultant will be 22500 so 22500 is what the cost price of both the books so we know the selling price right 12000 12000 24000 will be the selling price so selling price is 12000 cost price is 22500 then how much profit 1500 is the profit so this will be the total transaction profit. Our target is to find what is the total profit. So total profit will be 1500. In case if they are asking like what is the profit percentage he got. Then 1500 divided by cost price into 100. If you calculate this resultant answer will be how much percentage he got a profit. So 1500 is the amount. In case if you need to find it in a percentage we have to divide by the cost price. Right. So friends, that's it, right? So this part alone is important to solve the question with the different numbers, right? If it is the same number, we can use a formula and we can find what is the loss percentage. So once you find the loss percentage, finding the cost price of the things is easy. But if both the numbers are different, so what you need to do is, so first 100 percentage will always be the base number, which will be the cost price of the product. So if he is selling one at 20 percentage profit, then that amount will be 120 percentage. The second selling price is 12,000, but he got a loss of 4 percentage. So when he sells the book for 12,000 rupees, then if it is a loss of 4, then that amount will be equals to 96 percentage, right? So what is the cost price we found and total cost price we got? We know the selling price. So one cost price and selling price is known then it is easy to find whether it is a profit or a loss right so once that's it i will uh, give you two question as a homer question and check whether you are getting the answers for both right in case if you are getting the answers for both then okay right then you understood the concept of the previous lesson as well as this lesson right so and uh, again i'm saying practice is more and more important right so after watching this video after writing the omer questions do not forget to buy the test of quantitative aptitude and reasoning on my channel right you can visit my website or my mobile application so inside that you can able to see the test so test practice is most important so inside quantitative aptitude you can able to see profit and loss topic so write the test practice more so once you practice more solving the questions on all the topics on quantitative aptitude will be easy so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much for watching it bye